Alrighty, let's get into it. So, today we're going to be talking about ILIs. Okay, so what is that? That's an NI base first, TE creative. So, um, so yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first thing, when we talk about these, uh, these types, is we're going to get into the base element and uh, and how it differs from the ignoring. So in this case we have um, introverted intuition in comparison to extroverted intuition. So what does this mean? What it, What's going on here? Well, introverted intuition is what I call abstract convergence, okay? Um, if you look at uh, if you look at extrovert intuition in comparison, abstract divergence. So um, this is just abstract information moving in a convergent manner versus a divergent manner. So obviously um, a little bit of an intro as to what abstract information means. Uh, it's, it's primarily just anything that's not pertaining to the external environment. Um, it's information that pertains to uh, that which is internal. This this uh, these uh, these ideas and concepts in in one's mind. And so a lot of times, uh, the way this presents itself is in like um, considering alternatives, um, thinking about the future. There's several ways that this arises. But um, you know, for for example, with types that have really bad like NE like LSIs, you know, they will have a hard time not taking something at face value. Um, if you say it to them, they'll probably take it as you said it and then get mad when they find out that that's not what you meant because you should have been more precise and uh, they, they, they aren't necessarily surveying alternatives or thinking, well, you could be meaning this, 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 whatever. People say things to me and I feel like they could be saying so many things at once. I'm like, okay, hold on a second. We got to figure this out because <laughs> like you said this one sentence to me, but I'm literally thinking of a million different things this thing can mean. So, anyways, the difference between these abstract convergence versus divergence it arises in a uh, in a number of different ways. Uh, abstract divergence can be seen as potential exploration, exploring the nuances of ideas and and possibilities. Whereas with introverted intuition, um, it's the opposite. It's it's moving into a convergent manner. It's saying. I'm only interested in things so far as they connect to the greater whole. Okay, so that's the attitude, but that arises in different ways, uh, even for an ILI. So what that means is you can either be doing this with ideas, so you can be converging several disparate, separate ideas into one, into one center, or you can be looking at events and saying, well, um, what's likely to happen in the future what's what's like how are these events likely to connect over time right and so um and so that's another way that that happens as well as asking the question where does this come from why does this thing exist and kind of going back in time to see you know uh like what what function this has served for us uh if it didn't exist what would the future look like or what would the world look like now right so that's just an example. Um, <clears throat> alrighty, so for uh, for ILIs, a big thing is they're so involved in that introverted intuitive landscape that they'll be pretty disconnected from the external. Um, they'll be pretty uh, they'll be pretty spacey, just like an IEI will be, but they'll be a lot more practically able. Um, <laughs> and uh, an IEI is, is pretty disconnected and not very efficient, not very practical. And so an ILI, while, while pretty disconnected, um, will still have uh, some, some practical um, capability. They have that creative TE after all. Um, one thing that ILIs are famous for is, is being like, prevented, uh, like preventative in a, in, a, in a lot of ways, like preventing how events may unfold, saying, well, this is what's likely to happen, so I need to do these things to prevent that outcome. Um, that's not something that you actively see with a uh, IEI as much. Um, that's, uh, 
yeah, that's that's not something that an IEI is going to be as great at. Now, I will say that as an IEI, um, it is something that I can do in terms of conflict. I know when people aren't going to like each other, I, I have a, a decent sense of it. Um, I know like if there's news, like what people will like it and what people won't and things like that. So that that is something that I, I can do um, rather well. But as far as um, like like outcomes that don't pertain to people, um, more so like events. No, that's not something I have a very um, very easy time seeing uh, how they'll how they'll play out. So that's something an ILI will be pretty good at, and uh, and we'll do a lot of work in terms of like preventing those outcomes, etc. Um, they'll also be um, pretty insightful. They have um, creative TE and demonstrative TI. And introvert intuition, which, like I said a moment ago, kind of converges several very different things to one point. And so, because of that, they'll 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 be pretty insightful um, types for sure. Um, probably pretty pretty damn smart. Um, now, uh, let's see. So one thing that differs with uh, one one thing that's for an ILI is they're going to have mobilizing introverted ethics. So for them, knowing how they feel towards things, uh, knowing their uh, how they feel about people, things like that, this is something that they work on. This is something that they um, that they give a good amount of intent attention to, right? Um, it's something that they want to improve on. It's not something that um, comes naturally, but it is something that they want to get better at forming those relationships. Now, with a TEFI type, you're going to be seeing someone who does a good amount of measuring of their relationships. Now, for a ILI, it's not going to be as like it's not going to be measuring the relationship per se, but more so like um, giving their time to things they value. Because remember, TE can really be seen as um, as efficiency, uh, that's that's why um, for these types like LIE and ILI, for example, um, all of these things are an investment. All they're, when they're losing time, it is an investment. However, it's not the same kind of urgency you'll see with an LIE. LIEs are LIEs have ridiculous urgency. It's like they're losing time. They're like like we've got to do something before like you know run out of time. Uh, it, it very much is an attitude of like that time is being lost as we speak. ILIs, they're 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 not as um they're they're a little bit more spaced out, a little bit more disconnected. For that reason, they don't have that same kind of urgency in time. Remember, introvert sensation is in the role position for them, whereas extrovert sensation is in the suggestive. And oftentimes people have much easier time with their role and kind of have to push through their role to reach their suggestive. So that is something that um is really good to note and uh, and is why for them uh, they don't have the problem of pushing and pushing and, and dedicating so much time to things that they uh, they're like wearing themselves out they they're too spaced out uh, disconnected um, they do put value on comfort things like that so uh, as far as like pushing their limits and things like that this is not something they're gonna come to naturally uh, or easily. They don't have drive. Um, they don't have a lot of drive. But when they do things, they will do them efficiently, right? That is something that's that, that that's the difference. So uh, so yeah, that that is pretty key to that type. Now, one thing I want to say um, quickly, for uh, IEI, something interesting that you'll see with them, and this is just taking a little bit of a detour so I can kind of explain ILI. One thing you'll see with IEIs is that they have FI demonstrative, um, FE creative, TI mobilizing. So what ends up happening here is they don't really care about their demonstrative. Uh, oftentimes that's the case. They don't really give, give a lot of attention to their demonstrative. And so um, it's just kind of a background element, right? So when uh, when I'm around a bunch of people, I'm very aware of what these people's values are, right? Like, 
And oftentimes, like for a type like me with no TE, but really good FI and decent TI, what ends up happening is I see the values in logic. And, and what ends up happening is that if I see conflicts between two people, I'll come up to them and I'll say like, okay, what are you saying? What are you saying? And then I can kind of point out that their conclusions are infected by their, like, their values. Um, I say infected, but of course it's necessary for that to happen. And so for someone like myself, it's very, very difficult for me to actually come to my own like value system. Um, for me to say like, like, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not easy. I, I, it's not easy for me to take a strong position. I'm much better at kind of seeing the positions, not really taking one. Um, that's, that's much more difficult for me. Uh, whereas, uh, <clears throat> whereas, um, what the benefit of that is that it, it harmonizes, right? So when you take that subjective value placement out of it, um, and, and bring it back to TI, you take it off the people and put it on the topic, right? On the subject matter, on the logic of it. And, um, what it does is in that process, it's, it, it harmonizes with people. It kind of diffuses conflict and uh, opposition. So that's something that I do rather naturally. Um, it's just hard for me to actually have my own stances. Um, now, it's different for an ILI. An ILI is going to have TI demonstrative, so they're going to be pretty aware of the different, um, like, like they're going to be pretty aware of, like, the frameworks and, like, like you know, like, let's say we're talking about, like, governmental policy or something. Um they're going to be pretty aware of those things. Obviously, they're not really interested in, um, in like a one size fits all solution. Um, the ILI is going to want to, uh, bring that information, all of that, um, TI information to, towards TE. So in case you're not really familiar with TE and TI, I'll do a quick run through. Uh, introverted logic is taking the approach of having a set of principles that you um, that you use to make your decisions in every situation. Obviously, there will be times where situation is different and you have to try to uh, account for differences in that situation, things like that. However, TE does not do this. TE says, well, why would I reduce down what I do to this set of principles when every situation is different? Right, so they're very situational types, right? Um, they don't limit themselves logically by saying, like, these are the um, these. This is my set of principles that I live by, etc. Um, and so for them, it's really just what is the most practical thing or most efficient thing to do in the situation. So that's the uh, the difference between those two. Now, so for an ILI, they're not really giving much attention to their demonstrative. It's much more focused on their um, on the present moment. And so for them, um, they'll probably be really annoyed when people are like really focused on remaining like internally consistent, like, uh, like TI types will probably like probably TI bases annoy ILIs. I would, I would, I would, I would guess. Um, like kind of like how like FI types would annoy me to a degree. Uh, not that, um, not that they like actually annoy me, just kind of like some things they do. I'm like, ah, you know what I mean? So that's kind of what you'll get um, with the demonstrative element. It's kind of an a, annoying element in, in a lot of ways. So for the, um, for the ILI, people who are too focused on remaining logically consistent and everything making sense is like annoying because like, look, we've got to bring this back to the current situation. This current situation, we can't follow this rule, for example. Um, in this current situation, the best thing that we can do is this, right? So for them, they're going to be a pretty do a pretty good job at translating frameworks and logical understandings to the present situation. So that's going to be like, they're like, their skill. They're, they're going to be really good with that. Now, what makes them interesting is that they're making those frameworks about introverted ethics in the same way that for myself I take introverted ethics and I'm making it about and I'm bringing that information right back to the topic so rather than being focused on the people um, I'm focused on the um, information 
And so for them, it actually works the other way around. They have a really nuanced understanding of the uh, the information, but then they bring it right back to um, their uh, like the people or or how they feel about it, etc. So what's um, what's useful about this is that they have like a pretty good nuanced understanding of like a framework, and they know how to apply it to the current situation. But they're really good at saying, okay, but when I make this decision. Well, okay, I say really good. They'll be pretty good at saying, when I make this decision, how will it affect the people I care about? Um, how do I feel about that? Things like that. And so what that kind of alludes to is having a really nuanced understanding of how one personally feels about a set of policies, right? Now, obviously, for them, it's less so about the policies and more so about the situation. So the focus isn't going to be on having, like, their personal feelings about the policies themselves, but they will have a pretty nuanced understanding as to how they feel about the policy being used in this circumstance. I hope I didn't lose you. The point being, they have nuanced understanding of like policy procedure, like uh, rules, frameworks, things like that. Um, but they're also more interested in how it applies to the current situation. So they'll have a pretty good job of applying those things but if it's not if that framework doesn't work in this situation then uh yeah it's it's going to be like seen as annoying right but they're still taking into account how they personally feel about it um which is interesting because for someone like me i have a really hard time knowing how i like personally feel about these things so that's uh that's really fascinating and um one thing to note here as well is that the uh, the ILI is going to be saying things as close to the truth as they can, right? So remember, this is like logic that's external. Um, so it's not about like they they want to they want to ensure that whatever they say is representative of how it is, um, and so what's what's happening here is with. Uh, I feel like I'm trying to word this correctly. Um, what's happening here is that with a uh, ILI, they're not going to be utilizing extroverted ethics very much. So what I mean by that is that, you know, TE and FE are obviously opposites, right? So extroverted ethics is focused on the emo emotion, the uh, emotive energy that they're putting out. So the way they say things can be like, very emotive, okay. Um, it's it's actually really interesting to see someone like what. Well, I, I mean, I use extroverted ethics well to a degree. I mean, I I don't think I sound like a boring professor right now or anything like that. But like, it's not really my focus. I, I don't really care so much about it. Whereas like, you get like a EIE, and they're just like the way they talk is like unnecessarily extravagant, you know. <laughs> Or like, or just like nuanced. Uh, whereas like TE doesn't want to like uh, infect the uh, the information with like some kind of spin, some kind of emotional spin. They just want they want it to be clear as day. And so because of that, because of focusing on how things practically are, not on how they like feel about it necessarily. Uh, or or expressing it in any other kind of way, it, it, it's it's very focused on what it is, and so because of that, because of that precision, they will cut through emotion like a hot knife through butter. You know, like people like in the if the emotional atmosphere is like killed because of the ILI, it's like they're just that. I mean, they're gonna do that. That, that's that's something that if if they're being honest, as long as they're they're saying things as they are, they're remaining accurate. It doesn't matter how it affects the mood, right? And that's like that's a, that's what you're gonna see with them. They're also gonna have a hard time um, in influencing that mood as well. So, uh, but yeah, that's 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 gonna be the focus is more so on remaining accurate and things like that. Whereas that's actually helpful for the FI types because. Um, one thing that I noticed with like FE types and FI types is that the FE valuing types will make jokes and banter sometimes, and the FI types will think that it's referring to them. 
which I think people in the socionics community have kind of gotten used to this and kind of understand that and deal with it better. But like generally when an FE type is making banter or jokes or things like that, I think sometimes that information is taken seriously to be how they feel about that person. Um, and so that that can kind of be deceiving and annoying for an FI type to for someone to keep saying things that they don't actually mean. Whereas like the ILIs, like saying things exactly as they are, it being like cutthroat even, um, is actually something that the FI types can really appreciate and value. So yeah, that's uh, that's another that's another thing about um, the ILI's communication. That that'll be that'll be something that the FI types will really appreciate. Now, obviously, um, I don't really know how much I got into it, but like TE is about efficiency. That is its agenda. Um, it is looking on the external. It's 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 about being as efficient as possible, and so um, that will be something that you'll see an ILI is pretty good at. I think I might have said that already, but just in case. Um, Alrighty, so the last thing is the last few things is um, back to what we were saying about introverted sensation earlier. They'll be pretty disconnected, but they can momentarily switch on, like focus on their environment. Um, they will be more efficient within their environment, but they they won't be as uh, like they they won't be as bad as an IEI. You know, an IEI is not really good at keeping things together, um, but with a uh, with an ILI, um, they'll do a pretty good job within their environment and uh, taking care of things in an efficient sense, but not in a sense that they uh, that they're like because they're still spacey. They're they're still disconnected to a large degree, and so it's not going to be um, it's just going to be better because they have TE, so they'll be able to manage things um, with more efficiency, but. Uh, but yeah, they'll still be disconnected, still pretty spacey, um, and they'll still need to push through that to sort of generate willpower, which is something that, again, uh, the uh, IEI, ILI types are not going to be very good at. Um, creating this uh, creating this drive or energy, they don't have a lot of willpower. That's not something that they're going to, their willpower is going to be pretty low. Um, Whereas, like, you know, you take, like, SE types, and they're just like, let's go, let's do it, you know. It's like, can't sit still kind of thing. Um, wh what a basic oversimplification of SE types. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's that's the concept. So, again, really smart type, um, really good at taking information, bringing it together. Um, they're, they're particularly good at seeing how, like, how things will trend over time. And I don't know why I didn't say this, but this is like so central to this type. They're really good at looking at like, they're really good analysts, you know, like taking information regarding uh, like data sets, and kind of noticing trends over time. Um, they're they're going to be really good with that kind of thing. Um, yeah. Whereas... Uh, yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be pretty good at that kind of thing. So, yeah, I mean, they're they're obviously they're gonna have like a good sense of where they want to go, and that's actually gonna help them. That's that's introvert intuition that we're looking at. Um, they'll have a, a good sense of direction or vision for their life that'll really help them in um, in like navigating like what steps they need to take, what what outcomes they need to prevent, things like that, um, and that'll help the SCE. You know, the SCE needs to have a better sense of the outcomes and, and where are we going? What like what what are the what's the long term plan? SEs don't have a sense of where they're going or what their long term plan is. It's very like like I've got a plan for today, <laughs> um, but as far as like where it'll be in like five years, ten years, like whatever, like what they where they want to be, that's not something they have a easy time doing. And so an ILI will do a pretty good job at um, helping them with that and giving them the steps they need to take to accomplish that. Um, whereas, obviously, the ILI, while they have a good sense of that, you know, long, 
long-term type of thinking, they'll have a, a, a much worse like sense of drive and push the oomph that it takes to make it happen. And so the SEE will be helpful to them in that regard. So, um, yeah, I mean, overall, uh, that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty good video on the type, I think. The, the la one of the last things I would say is that uh, this is gamma values. So um, just keep in mind, this is TE valuing, FI valuing about um, uh, this this quadra is at least um, focusing on how much one's feeding into a relationship, um, being as efficient as possible, um, managing their time well. That's a big part of of, of them being cost efficient, like cost benefit analysis, um, and then like pushing to make things happen, pushing to produce an outcome to make things happen. And uh, and having like a vision or something greater to adhere to, um, well, I say greater to adhere to. That's kind of beta ish, but yeah, like like pushing to to accomplish one's goals, right? Having goals set for the future and, and, and accomplishing them and doing them quickly and well and things like this is very this is very gamma gamma culture. They'll be aggressive uh, in terms of relationships, like very aggressive. They'll they'll be like you know, if you want to do this and I want to do this, it's fine. Like we each go our own ways. It's very individualistic. Um, like it's not, there's, there's less of a sense of like, I, I, I don't know. It's, I, I was going to say like, there's less of a sense of communion. I feel like the FE types have more of a sense of like communion. Whereas like the FI types, obviously they appreciate communion and things like this, but I think they're much more about like how much time are you investing in me, et cetera, et cetera. If two people don't want to be there and they want to be doing something else, you'd be like, do it. Like, why are we here if we don't want to be doing this? You know what I mean? Um, whereas I think that would be kind of rude from an FE point of view. I don't know if that was helpful. I just felt like going over the uh, values of the, uh, the quadra um, for just a moment. I think that's all we need to talk about in regard to the ILI. Um, I really appreciate you guys um, watching this video. Uh, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. If you want to know your type yourself, uh, I actually offer a um, service to type people. You can go down in the description below and click on the scheduling link and schedule a session with me. So, perfect. Uh, also, join our Discord. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.